In this video, we will show you the operation tutorial of Toxgun FP400 drone. 1. Drone Unboxing Check the packaging box for intact opening labels. Ensure that the product manual and maintenance tool set are complete. Check the appearance of the drone, batteries and charger. 2. Drone Inspection and RC Activation Unfold the arms. Check the arm locking buckles, propellers, landing gears, arm clips, etc. Check the appearance, signal status, and battery level of remote controller, RC. Connect the remote controller to Wi-Fi. Please choose 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Now, you can activate the drone and battery with the following steps. Install the battery to the drone. Short press and long press the power button to boot up the battery. Similarly, short press and long press the power button to power off the drone before pulling out the battery. Create an app account with your email address, then log in. Click drone activation and name the drone. We suggest you choose mode 2 as stick mode. Click battery activation, follow the prompts to activate the battery. After activation, click the operation icon. Now, you will see the map and drone's location on the screen. Check whether the settings of the app are correct. Make sure the flow sensor, obstacle avoidance switch, and obstacle avoidance warning switch are turned on, the RTK switch and RTK orientation are turned off. Update the firmware and app as shown in the video. Fill the tank. Click the spraying button for a spray test. 3. Calibration Let's make magnetic compass, IMU, and remote controller calibration. During magnetic compass calibration, you need two people to lift the drone and rotate it clockwise horizontally around its center. Then tilt it over 45 degrees and rotate it clockwise again. Please keep a distance from places with high magnetic interference such as steel frame structures and high voltage line towers. During IMU calibration, pull the throttle stick to the lowest position. Please calibrate on a relatively flat ground. Next is the remote controller sticks calibration. Push all the sticks to their maximum range of motion and calibrate all the physical buttons on the RC. Then restore their position after pressing them. 4. Flight Test Drone Unlocking To unlock the drone, pull both sticks to the lower right at 45 degrees until all propellers start rotating. Drone Locking To lock the drone, pull both sticks to the lowest position and then perform the turned V locking gesture until all propellers stop rotating. Drone Flight Test Check the surrounding environment. Keep a safe distance of 6 to 10 meters from the drone. Check the obstacle avoidance switch, RC signal status, battery level of the drone and RC. Take mode 2 as an example. Unlock the drone. Push the left stick up, the drone will go up. Pull the left stick down, the drone will go down. Push the right stick up, the drone will go forward. Pull the right stick down, the drone will go backward. Toggle the right stick to the left, the drone will go left. Toggle the right stick to the right, the drone will go right. Toggle the left stick to the left, the drone will turn counterclockwise. Toggle the left stick to the right, the drone will turn clockwise. After landing, lock the drone. 5. Autonomous Operation Demo for more operation modes and details, please refer to the tutorials in our channel. The tutorials in our channel. Here we use autonomous operation mode as an example. Click field mapping, then click continuous point operation mode. Use the aircraft mapping. Select the mapped field from the task list. Plan the route according to the field situation. Click start work after route planning. Check the parameter on the setting interface. Slide to start the operation. The drone will unlock, take off and start the operation automatically. When the operation is finished, you can fly the drone back manually or use the return to home function.